Well, hi everyone, good morning. Hey, Cold Snap is here again, isn't it? But anyway, do any of you have those moments when you feel insignificant? That thought comes to your mind. Am I really making a difference in the kingdom? Am I really doing something significant for the kingdom? Well, if you've had those thoughts or have those thoughts, the prophet Micah gives us some great encouragement. And it's in chapter 5, verse 2. And this is what uh, it says. But you, Bethlehem, though you are small amongst the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over all Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Of course, God is speaking through Micah about the birth of Jesus. Now, the time of Micah, Bethlehem was regarded as an insignificant little village. Yet from that town, the nation of Israel and the world would receive a savior through whom by faith we would be made righteous in God's eyes. So many times in scripture, we see this insignificance of people and towns being used by God in miraculous and magnificent ways. I mean, Abraham started out as a pagan. Moses had a speech impediment. Gideon was fearful. Ruth was an outsider. David was young. Amos a farmer. Peter a fisherman. Matthew, despised tax collector. Yo, the list can go on and on. But you see, the reason God does this is to emphasize that as Paul puts it to the church in Corinth in 2 Corinthians 4, 7, so well to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Your and my significance is not from ourselves. When we surrender to God's will and God's way, whatever we do and say in the kingdom is multiplied and made more impactful because God's the source. Amen. I trust you're going to have a great day. May God bless you. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow morning.